world to witnessing development in the counties. Today, we are entering into Renhuai city of Guizhou. It's situated in the northern part of the western segment of Chishui River, and the Long March Army has once fought in that region. It has complicated land form with distinctive four seasons, so it is very less populated in the mountainous areas. And because of that uh, special geographical location, it is well known for liquor production, and it ranks number 12 among the top 100 counties in China. And in the western counties, it ranks number four. Today, we will have a bird view of this beautiful city. Today, we're going to take a helicopter to have a bird view of Renhuai City. We started from the outskirt of Renhuai City, and now we could uh, have a glimpse of the view of Renhuai downtown. Right below the helicopter, that is the bridge, and that is the first station to enter into Renhuai from Guiyang. The total mileage is 3,961 kilometers leading to Renhuai. It has greatly relieved the transportation pressure and connected the rural areas. That is Luming Park. Renhua is narrow, but to improve people's attainment sense, in the downtown area, Renhua established five ecological parks for people to enjoy their leisure time and experience the beautiful ecology. Right in front of us, that is the most hustling and bustling downtown area. It is also connected with the relocation projects in the surroundings. 50,000 people are residing here. On the right side of that complex, the greening area is the Nanjuling City Park. It's beyond our imagination that that used to be the garbage land-bearing site. But now, Renhua has reshaped it into a beautiful green scenery. Now we are heading to the west. Now we are above the Chishuihe River. In history, Guizhou did not produce salt, so it has to import from Sichuan. And Chishui River is like the necessary pathway for the salt introduction. On the two banks of the river, there are luxurious mountains. One million more preserved forest base will be established, and the forest coverage will be over 64 percent in Renhuai. And we could even smell the fragrance of Mao Tai. Because of the special environment, it has very good ecological environment. Chishuihe River is also the river for heroes. Now the sailboat-shaped monument was to memorize the Long March Army. The Long March Army used to cross over Chishui River three times. For thousands of years, Renhua City has been prospering on Chishui River. To tell the story of Chishui River has been the one everlasting topic for Renhua locals. Chishui River is on the upstream of Yangtze River. It matters to the water quality and development of Yangtze River and also to the well-being of people living on it. We could see this meandering river from above. Now let's enter into the county. Renhuai has about uh, 680,000 square mu land areas for arable land. And Renhuai is also famous for producing sorghum. What is the harvesting situation in Renhuai? Now let's connect with our reporter in the front line. So how is the yield of sorghum? 
Thank you. Now, I am in Daba Township in the petty field of the sorghum. It has very strong sunlight today. I cannot even open my eyes, but that's good for the harvest. You could see those sorghum are growing. They are called Renhuai sorghum, used for brewing alcohol. They are already two meters high. And now let's have a closer look. We could see the small buds about to flower in the sorghum. According to the experts, this year's sorghum has a good harvest. The harvesting season is looming, and there are 300,000 mu of sorghum production base, and this is the critical time for managing this field. And uh, this place has seen over one week of high temperature, so we must water the sorghum frequently so as for the sorghum to bloom. And we could see such a drone operated by the local farmers. They used to spray over the sorghum by carrying the bottles on their backs, but those bottles were very heavy, so now they could uh, use the remote control to control the drone for more field work. We are feeling how technology is empowering agriculture. What is the machinery level here? There are several cooperatives being established, introducing different machineries, and the farmers only need to call the cooperative in order to enjoy the machines. So improving machinery level is certainly challenging. It takes efforts. Since 2009, Renhuai City has started the High Standards Sorghum Field Establishment Project. Here, this is a board with photos to show us the land reform. Those are before. We could see slopes. And uh, the white colors are actually stones. So there are a lot of stone areas instead of uh, the agricultural land. But in the after picture, we could see the terrains. And the arable land has been increased in area as well, added by the water conservancy facilities and the road transportation improvement. Now there are 27 different demonstration areas in Huaren. And in this map, the green color represents the demonstration parks of sorghum. The red dots represent the yet-to-be-established demonstration areas for sorghum. And the machinery ratio is over 90%. For every move, the production volume has been increased by 20% on average. Farmers' income has been boosted as well. This is the main variety of sorghum produced here. It's called Hong Yingzi and Hong Zhenzhu. Those two come from the local library of seeds. And there are 385 local varieties with over 1,000 samples collected in this library. And the experts will choose the most premium varieties. And now this sorghum has evolved into the fifth generation. They also encourage the enterprises to lead the farmers, and there will be the contracted acquisition. And the acquisition price is 5.6 RMB yuan from the hands of farmers. And the average income by such acquisition will be 1,600 RMB yuan for the farmers. You could see that how heavy this sorghum is. According to the local saying, it says that when the sorghum is laughing and bending over, that is the harvesting season. We give our best wishes to the farmers. So we know it's harvesting season for the farmers when the sorghum is laughing and bending over. So two of our reporters have taken us to have a closer look. And now let's walk by the water. In the township of Wuma, there is um, a meandering river called Wuma River. And a group of people grew up by the riverside. Now with their actions, they are returning to this river.
Hello, everyone. Could you see me? I'm taking a clamp and a bucket. That's the basic preparation for the patrol people. We're going to be patrolling this Wuma River. Wuma River is the longest branch of Chishui River in Renhuai area. It's called also the Mother River. If we want to persuade people to keep out of fishing, what is the effect? In the beginning, it's difficult, but after several times of persuasion, people are starting to have higher sense of environmental protection. Hello, Mr. Wang. This water is so clean. We could drink directly from the river when I was young, and there were so many fish in the river. The paper-making factories and the coal-burning factories polluted this river, and we saw less fish living in the river, so we were heart-wrenched, feeling like the Mother River was gone. The paper-making factories were closed down, and the coal mines were closed down in 2014, especially the heavily polluting factories. They were phased out. With people's love put into the river, the river is getting clearer and clearer. What are you doing here? I'm patrolling the river. This is the Yuqinggo segment of uh, the river. This is my responsibility. We would love to make efforts with no returns at all. We would uh, pull resources together and fund this patrolling work. You are willing to sacrifice? Of course, this is our mother river. Look how clean the water is. It's above the international second grade. Protecting our mother river requires efforts of everyone. I'm taking it seriously, and I'm going to do this forever. The water from my childhood is back. It is fair to say that by the riverbanks of Chishui He River, there are numberless river lovers, and ecological protection is the key point of high-quality development. We feel how much people love the river. Now let's go to the hills. Renhuai has abundant hills. Many people used to live in the mountainous areas. so how to have a balanced development, especially to benefit those people living in the mountainous areas, and how to improve the agriculture production efficiency, especially for the people who have suffered from graphitization. I heard that in Chang'an Mountain, there is a very famous area called Lingtian Village. Now let's Take a tour in the village. If you ask me the first impression I have, it's cool. The average height is 1,080 meters, with the average temperature year-round at about 15.7 Celsius degrees. And visitors come here for only one season to stay away from the heat. It has beautiful environment, and it's very delicately arranged. I sleep tight here. The overall environment is cool. 
with a lot of vegetation. So this village has a lot of visitors, not only from Sichuan and Chongqing. This is also famous for the education. On the weekends and summer vacations and winter vacations, primary and secondary school students would come here to pick up those vegetables and flowers and fruits. People can also play basketball or football. Now, Yingtianchun has well-developed transportation and good environment, but it is rarely known that this place used to suffer from gravitization. The locals lived on growing corn, and because of the ecological campaign, this place is reshaped. The deserted mountains were turned into green areas, and this village has witnessed six years of transformation. In 2016, this village started the infrastructure development, road development, and ecological improvement by producing and growing so many fruit trees, for example, the pear trees. This deserted mountainous area was covered with green forests, and also guest houses were built to welcome the visitors. People's income averaged at 20,170 RMB yuan years ago. This village was already gotten rid of poverty, and it has become a well-off village. So the enrichment of Lingtian village is a miniature with um, a forestation and other means, for example, the water cleaning projects, environment is improved. The beautiful village is getting into shape. And there are 127 ecological townships in Zunyi. That is a testament of ecological development to safeguard our green mountains and good environment. With industrial development, it has greatly improved its financial returns and people's sense of attainment. In 2020, Renhuai was selected into the county level demonstration example. And now let's listen to the stories from the mouths of the locals. I don't want to leave my hometown anymore. It has beautiful mountains, tasteful food, and friendly people. For me, hometown is where I was accompanied. My hometown seems to grow up together with me. Speaking of hometown, what do you want to say? My hometown has experienced huge changes in the recent years. We have a lot more places for leisure and entertainment. For example, we have tidy parks, and uh, that is conducive for us to enjoy our fitness and uh, also to relax. Dancing represents our homesickness we hope that all Miao ethnicity people could come back to our hometown to see for yourself the development of our hometown. What is beautiful about your hometown? Just take a look at the beautiful sceneries. The highways are connecting all the counties, and townships are now having the asphalt roads paved. It's very convenient to go everywhere. We have a good harvest of grapes this year. We hope industries will bring more beautiful future for our hometown. If you want to say good things about your hometown, what do you want to say? I want to give my thumbs up to the local government because of the good plan. I witnessed the change of the county since I was young. I do feel that the government is really behaving on behalf of the locals. I want to thumb up to the environment. 
With the co-efforts of the government and the locals, we have more beautiful environment, bluer skies, greener trees, and more fragrant flowers, and also people are in better mood. This dance ex could present the safe environment in our country. We are retired. We hope that even when we are retired, we could have some place to go to and feel the sense of happiness. We hope all our civilians could live with such a beautiful vision of our future, and we would lead a more prosperous life together. Renhua locals have a say about whether the city is good. To live a better life, even after retirement, people are smiling from their bottom heart. And the industrial value increased by 11.5 percent in Renhua. In 2021, the local GDP exceeded about 156.4 billion RMB yuan. What are the features of Renhua development? What learnings and takeaways could we get? We have invited an expert from the Central Party School of CPC. In the recent years, Renhua has restructured with industrial upgrading. It has implemented the new development concept by bringing about the new development landscape to pursue high quality growth. There are several distinct features. First, industrialization take the lead and spur tourism development by relying on liquor industry, guest house, rural areas, Renhua give full play to ecology, culture, and other competitive advantages. So the ecology and tourism are perfectly combined. Renhua established the tourism resort at national level. Tourism could further incur the second and third industry development. So they have successfully brought about integrated development by establishing some new growth points. Second, environmental protection is put at the center. Renhua's development is indispensable from Chi Shui He River. Renhua is taking a tough stance in green development by establishing the industrial belts and ecological belts, the beautiful village belts, and the green urbanization belts. The ecological compensation mechanism is also introduced to improve the water quality. Big data is also harnessed. With the modern information technologies support, Renhua strives to establish an environmental protection data management pollutants monitoring system and other data centers to cover more precise, efficient, and quick environmental monitoring and environmental protection and modern governance and intelligent governance are put together. Third, people-orientedness. The budget in Renhua is earmarked to ecological improvement and afforestation and improving people's livelihood. In recent years, people-orientedness has been the starting point of Renhua's campaigns, and the city's environment has been improved all the way. People's sense of satisfaction and attainment have been boosted greatly. So people-centeredness to enrich people's well-being and uh, to boost the city development is the lifeline of Renhua development pathway. Renhua has practiced high quality growth. The appearance of Renhua has been updated all those years. So thank you for watching this special program. We are going to continue this program in the morning of Wednesday.
这个东西是一个风景修饰图，行吗？那我们先通过一些简单的画面，一起来看一下。那首先映入眼帘的呢，是一栋栋具有全北宜居特色的建筑，小青瓦、铺面屋、旋角楼。虽然只是几栋民房啊，但这其中最老的那栋建筑啊，已经有四百多年的历史了。以前大家一提到仁怀，就会想到这里的酒文化，而现在当地啊，以酒为媒，推动酒旅融合发展。就拿我所在的这个景区来说啊，这里是去年七月才正式对外营业的，而半年之内就迎来了四点五万游客。可以说，酒是旅之云，旅为酒出路，酒旅相得益彰，相辅相鉴。我们今天的直播呢，我将在这个地方好好游一番，带着大家来体验一下这里的酒文化。说起酿造酱酒，其实并不简单，啊，今天就有一个简单的方法。首先呢，是需要天时地利人和。首先，先让我们来介绍一下。First of all, let's talk about the good timing. On my left hand side, there are nine wine bottles on the walls, and also on top of the bottles, there are twenty-four soda terms. And as we know, the liquor has a lingering flavor. And also, the 24 solar terms could indicate the different steps of、uh, the liquor brewing. For example, the white dew represents the seventh time of collection of liquor. If they follow these solar terms to brew liquor, they will produce the best quality. And、uh, They would love to choose the best timing for the water quality. The second point is about the good place, especially the agriculture produce. On the table, they are placed several necessary raw materials. That is the center, the sorghum. It is a locally produced sorghum. And take a look at it. They are called Hongyins because they are red in color. Compared to the sorghum produced in northern China, they are smaller in size and they have thicker peels. So why is that an advantage for liquor brewing? It's relevant to the process of、uh, liquor brewing. Because sorghum would have to be steamed for many times in order to produce good liquor flavor. For those thick, peeled sorghum, they are very good for the brewing process. According to my knowledge, the sorghum has. Very high content of the starch and denning content. That's good for liquor brewing, especially the multi flavor. Because in the fermentation process, the sour taste could be eradicated. The sorghum produced in northern China would be good for producing the heavy tasting flavor. And、uh, sorghum is produced on a wide area in Renhua. In 2022, the production area of sorghum will be 300,000 mu. That is like a bestowed gift to the local people. Speaking of sorghum, I know some other grains. For example, this is the wheat, and that is the hog. So, what are the usage of those grains? I will invite some experts to give us answers. Look at this architecture. We could see the wooden frames and the white walls. This place could be open to visitors to experience the process. Such a brewing process has about 200 years of history. Now, let's invite Mr. Li to introduce more details. We see 
so many raw materials for brewing. I've introduced sorghum, but for the others, that's beyond my knowledge. Could you please introduce about those materials? OK. Those are the main raw materials, the wheat and the sorghum. The wheat is mainly used to have um, a blending of sorghum. It's one to one. For the shells of the grains, after the steaming and boiling of the sorghum, we will put these shells into it. Those hulls of grains are just like the supporting mechanism so that um, the, there will be some uh, breathing space for the sorghum. Yes. The traditional liquor looks like this. We will use the grinder to grind it after the brewing so that it will be in the shape of powder. So from the raw materials to semi-finished products to the final finished products. And in this process, they need sorghum, the hulls, and the liquor. This is the less concentrated liquor. And we call it wei jiu. We need to add in the low concentrated liquor so you, that's the saving of the waste. The hulls could help to preserve the less concentrated liquor. We heard that uh, the liquor brewing needs good timing, good place, and good people. So now let's come to talk about the last part about good people. So what do we need? It's easy. We need several key processes and procedures, and we have several codes of 12987 just to follow my steps into the plant. One represents one cycle of production. Two represents two feeding process. Nine means the raw materials must be boiled and steamed for nine times. Eight represents eight fermentation processes. So that's the meanings of the numbers. It sounds like a repeated process, yes. In one cycle, we have to repeat for several times. It sounds easy, but there are so many details in the practices. What are those workers doing? They will try to pile up to ferment. Piling up is critical for fermentation. It's like uh, the key stage of brewing. Interestingly, those are some instruments needed for brewing process. I will pick one. It's quite heavy. It's a shovel. Now it's made of stainless steel. They use this to shovel the house. Why not the traditional shovel? It could uh, generate more stringent process. What are those workers doing right now? It's a very critical stage. We have a capacity of uh, 1,500 gene. And 
also different uh, buckets would have different production ratio. Our workers are taking a dustpan-like instrument to throw into the bucket. What's that about? It's a tedious process, and we have several skills requirements. And that is a very critical stage. You just talk about several key skills required in this stage. Could you share the details? You could see, firstly, the workers have to take the dustpan very slowly and gently. They have to allow the materials to breathe. And also, they must be kept soft. And with every dustpan, they are very thin when they are thrown into the basket. And also, you could see the rhythm. They have a rhythm. And after every layer piled up, they are still flat. And you just now also mentioned about the gas. If the gas runs out, that's bad for the liquor. So when we see the gas, we need to use the raw materials to press it inside. If we take a closer look, we could see the steam getting out of the bucket, but our workers are trying to lock it in. How many years of working experience are required for this job? One to two years. Since I'm here today, can I have a first-hand experience of this uh, process? Of course. Let me find you an instructor. They are not falling down. It seems easy, but uh, when I get my hand on it, it's hard. The dustpan seems to be out of my control. Our workers are sweating right now. They are using the manual work to make liquor. And no air conditioning system is allowed in the plant, because if the temperature is not well controlled, that will have an impact over the brewing. It's 36 Celsius degrees today, so it's really hard job. That's why we said that we need good timing, good place, and good people. Good people matter the most. They need to have the craftsmanship to do it well. And now let's try to taste the liquor. This is the newly brewed liquor. I heard about a very awesome technique of brewing process. People say that uh, we can see flowers while well, we have uh, no thermal meteor. We use the flower ship to check the concentration of the liquor. What is the flower referring to? You mean the bubbles just now produced? Yes. If you see the bubble flowers in the liquor, it means it has a very 
high stability of the liquor. And I can basically judge that this is a 53 degree alcohol. See? The flower shaped bubbles are very stable in the liquor. The longer the bubbles remain in the liquor, the higher the degrees of the alcohol. And also to have that scale, how many years of efforts does it take? It depends on the working experience and the sense of concentration of the masters. They need seven to ten years of practices. So it's like the killer scale of the brewers. Yes, indeed. We learn a lot today. Thank you for your time. Actually, to brew good alcohol, it requires good environment and good water. Speaking of good water, we have to talk about Chu Shui He River. We have a bird view. Let's enjoy the beautiful scenery of Chu Shui He River. Chu Shui River is also called the river of good alcohol. In the Western Han Dynasty, about 153 BC, Chi Shui He River was also known for its good taste. Because of the beautiful environment and good climate, dozens of alcohol are produced here, accounting for 60% of the total. Because of the higher density of population on the banks, the river quality has been deteriorated. Because of that, one dozen year of uh, management of the river was initiated. Three provinces decided on the protection of Chi Shui He River. Since last July, those documents have been in effect. This is the first trans-provincial legislation. And those documents cover many branches of Yangtze River, including Chi Shui River. They will ally their management and monitoring requirements, monitoring methods, and others. For the key segments, they have an action plan of protecting the rivers. Of course, we are not just targeting one river or one mountain. Instead, we look at the overall ecology. With Chi Shui He River as an example, Guizhou Province established a municipal county level and village level five-layered river chief mechanism covering 20,000 mu area to ensure that the water quality can be improved. And the ecology environment has been improved, improving people's life, living styles. People are willing to come and live here for several days to experience the red tourism and ecological tourism. And the green is turned into gold here. So Chi Shui He River is a miniature. It trespasses Guizhou, Sichuan, and six more provinces and municipality. It is a testament of emphasizing protection rather than so development.
Dear viewers, I am the CMG reporter Ye Yulan. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Today, I'm gonna take you into Lingtian village of Renhuai. In seven years' time, this village has eradicated poverty, and now it has turned into the civilized village. So, why is that? We have invited the village chief. Hello there. I am Lingtian village party secretary Yang Yuanbang. Hello, Mr. Yang. Your village is a famous village nationwide. It is also a demonstration village for village governance. But seven years ago, this is a poverty-stricken village. Was that true? We have a comparison pair of photo. In the before picture, we could see the slopes of our terrains. No paddy field, no arable land and the deserted mountains. So we were backwards seven years ago, but in comparison, this is the after picture. In 2016, poverty alleviation campaign benefited us. We invested our limited money. For example, the water drainage system, other infrastructures, and environmental governance. With that, we have well-developed infrastructure. Now, we are a famous well-off village. This picture looks quite familiar. Is this where we are standing right now? Yes, indeed. So see how many changes happened. You just mentioned that uh, this place used to suffer greatly from the water erosion. But now the mountains seem to be planted with fruit trees. Yes. We have thousands more of uh, the pear trees being planted here. Just have a taste of this pear. It has very thin peel with high water contents of the fruits. It's good for your lungs. It's very sweet and also the size is big. After a while, this pear will grow bigger and sweeter. It's really hard to imagine that this place used to be haunted by water and soil erosion. So on that piece of stone land, now they can produce such sweet fruits. Speaking of uh, cool, is this village known for the coolness? Yes, that's because we have um, very famous trees. For example, we have a lot of uh, jinko trees. Our average temperature is around 15.6 Celsius degrees. And because of our well-developed transportation system, we have good tourism. Desertification used to plague us a lot. You could see the stones. So we collected the stones and build our guest houses on top of the stones. People say that our guest houses are growing out of the stones. Now the stones have become one part of the scenery. In addition to corn is here, what other attractions do you have to the visitors? I just mentioned about thousands of years of jingle trees. How old are they? 1200 years. We also have very good infrastructure, for example, the stadium football circle, the basketball ground. With those well-developed facilities, we can attract more visitors. What are those kids doing in the vegetable field? We are also the education extension base. So those children are now experiencing pickup of uh, those plants. This is a pickup garden. Just be my guest. Are you growing the peppers? Yes. Yes, there are corn and peppers here and the beans. I need a target. Which one is mature? 
and ripe. Let's see if I can pick it up with one hand. It's crispy. Have a look at the pepper I just picked. It's a necessary food here in Guizhou. We build a lot of those picking gardens to invite the visitors here, and then those vegetables could be cooked in our local restaurants. So you will enjoy your own fruits, that is very organic and green. Hearing that, I'm hungry already. A very famous snack is called Yu Zha Ba. You can have a taste, and then you won't be hungry anymore. Can I take a video of this snack? It's just a fried rice ball. Have a taste. Very crispy. The fragrance lingers on my tongue. And also, there are some ingredients inside the rice cake. This one has sweetened bean pastes. Are you a local here? Yes, I grew up here. Did you have a piece of land to farm? Yes, I did. But now, you have more visitors. Yes. With the rising number of visitors, how is your business? Pretty good. Every day, I sell two hundred to three hundred rice cakes. I give you my best wishes. So. You must have been receiving a lot more visitors, and people are having very good experience here. That's true. Luzhou, Chongqing, and some other places are good examples. We are helped to reform our guest houses. We have、um, restored four hundred guest houses. And in the summer time, we invite visitors to come and enjoy the village lifestyle. The third industry is developed, for example, raising pigs and chickens. Our local economy is spurred. The local farmers' income has increased to twenty hundred and one hundred and seven RMB yuan, thanks to the good policies. I cannot imagine so many visitors coming in. I hear a pounding sound. That's our visitors hitting the rice cake. You could have experience as well. And also, it's good to relieve your pressure. Can I have a try? You have to dip some water to hit on it. It's quite heavy. Pretty heavy, but it's is it fun? Yes, it's funny. People living in the urban areas are trying to let out their pressure. By hitting the rice cake. Since we have so many visitors here, we would love to interview some. Are you a tourist? Yes. Are you coming here to stay away from the heat? Yes. And also, I want to have a tour. How long do you intend to stay? Two months. What do you do every day? I just tour around in the mountainous areas. Nothing special. You seem pretty happy. Yes. This is his second year. There are some special things about the guest houses. You could see our guest houses are made of wood, with the traditional technique of architecture. 
called Maosu, and in the winter time it's warm, and in the summer time it's cool. It can also let out a very fragrant smell. That's good for our neural system. That's true. When I enter into the wood houses, I feel differently. It's very cool inside. I smell a different flavor. Those are the vegetables picked in the garden. Now let's have a taste of food here. Are they freshly picked? Yes. That's the local chicken called Gu Zi Chicken. We used steamed water, distilled water, and then steam the chicken for five hours. It has a lot of、uh, details. The chicken are locally kept in the deserted area, so they make full use of the deserted mountains. One household may keep fifty to one hundred chickens. There are twenty thousand chickens in our village. We hope that、uh, when the visitors come. They would have very good ingredients and food to buy, and also keeping chicken is one way of creating wealth for the local farmers. I'm eager to have a taste. The yellow color of the soup is really appetizing, and is very rich in flavor. Then try this fish. We have our aquatic. Technique with the green mountain and the green, clear water. We are raising the fish. So the village do this yourself? Yes. They are very delicious and tasteful. With the aquatic industry, our local people. Could live on it and create wealth. Those are the beans and pumpkin, also locally produced. Green food. They must be freshly picked. You just now picked the pepper. We can also cook it with the meat. I'm really looking forward. It's beef meat. May I ask that are your staff here? Yes. What did you do before? I used to be a migrant worker. Now coming back to your hometown, how do you feel? I'm happy to come back. I used to be poor here, and I went far to be a migrant worker. Now our hometown is wealthy. I could come back to take good care of my children and my elderly. You just mentioned that this is beef meat. Yes, and also beef is kept locally. It's our local industry. Yang Huixian, come back to our village, and decided to keep the beef with the new technology. There are a lot of advantages. First of all, this variety of、uh, Cow is no polluting, and because of the fermentation bed, even the feces of the cow will not give out stinky smell. Because the feces could be actually handled and disposed by the fermentation bed, 
and also the meat has high quality. I have tasted the beef already. It's very delicious. It's very soft. And I'm eager to recommend the local honey. We have invited the beekeepers today. Since I'm walking, I would love to taste the honey. It's sweet and it gives out a sense of uh, the herbs. So it's both sweet and sour. And the bees are kept in the cliffs. Let's talk with the beekeeper. Hello there. Could you please give your greetings to our viewers? Hello there. I am the beekeeper in Lingtian village, Su Chengbo. So you are making the honey water for us. I just now talked about the feature of uh, the honey. The bees are kept in the cliffs. Why did you do that? Because there are the primitive bushes and there are a lot of flowers and the traditional Chinese herbs grown there in the cliffs. Those traditional herbs will be good for our health. Now the ecology has been restored and our bees are an endangered species. It's a golden colored Chinese bee. Those Chinese bees are very particular about the environment. Only when the environment is improved can they be kept. What are you shaking? That's the enzyme from the honey. What's the function of the enzyme? Those are dried honey. They must be collected once a year. Can you show us the foam? It can be very helpful for our skin. Is composed of um, the H2MEHP. And I also heard that uh, the more fine the foams are, the better the function is. That's true. And what do you want to introduce to us about the honeycomb? With the cover, the honey can be the raw material for medicine. They are very yellow in color. This one is not covered yet. How much time does it need? One year. According to the Compendium of Materia Medica, the honey produced from the cliff is very good for the health. And also, even the honeycomb is edible. Yes, the honeycomb has a very mysterious fresh keeping functionality. So is your honey very popular among the visitors? Yes, they have to make an appointment to buy the honey. Thank you. Now let's come back to the village head. What is the relationship between the pear plantation and the honey production? Of course, it's relevant. We 
have a forestation by planting the pear trees and some other fruit trees, for example, the wax berries, in order to get rid of the graphitization. We cannot use the herbicides. So we keep bees to protect the environment. We have built a lot of beekeeping bases. Then, with the bees flying around, the nectars seem to be in lacking. So, we plant more trees. So, it's an industrial chain from the pear trees to the beekeeping business. We are restoring the ecology. And together, they contributed to the village tourism. And Lintian village used to be a very poor village. Today, we are a tourism-based village. In the springtime, we would love to invite our viewers to come to Lintian village to enjoy the thousands move of the pear flowers. In the summertime, you could uh, stay away from the heat and also you could pick the pear fruits. In the wintertime, you would enjoy the snowy scenery and taste the delicious local food. Welcome to have a tour around Lintian village. So the stone village has now turned into an ecology village. Now it has an annual revenue of uh, 4 million RMB yuan in the village. So Lingtian village has placed a new pathway with local features. That's all for today's show. Thank you for watching.